Hey, Stu Moon's in the video. <laughs> Stu Moon's in the video. Rod will be in any second, I can guess, yeah. There Here's he is, Rod. Rod's block. Hey, I'm Harold Times Sports Editor Chris Corman. I'm joined by Indiana Beat Reporter Dustin Dopirak. We are here in the newsroom. You can see how well lit it is. It's fantastic. And uh, other things. Anyway, packed day of football today, Dustin. Indeed. Indiana Lots trying to rebound from the 47-7 shellacking at the hands of Virginia in and Virginia over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill Lynch, first up, press conference today. Well, you heard him on the Big Ten conference call. Uh, mm-hmm. Press conference. Also saw him his radio show last night. What's his message right now? Uh, basically, let's uh, learn from it, move you know, and move on. Basically, they're uh, more or less. I mean, they looked at the film and they kind of came up with you know the, the just the basic things were the problem. I mean, there was you know poor tackling, you know, just assignments missed, and uh, just a general lack of focus and intensity. I think you know that that started from Bill and came all the way down from everybody we more or less talked to today that. Uh, you know, this was just one of those games where the you know Indiana, as they knew themselves or believed themselves to be, didn't show up, and uh, you know, and, and paid the price for it and got right. rocked by a, a Virginia team that they're saying is better than people realized and probably is better than people realized, but probably still shouldn't have been good enough to beat them by forty points. So how how does this you know I mean there's there's one thing to say hey bounce back we you know I mean everybody <laughs> right <laughs> next yeah, day play the next play. How did you see them go about actually doing that today? And, today, in practice, how did they say? I mean, I think uh, you know there was different stuff that was discussed. I think uh, I think Terrence Turner told you that they they started doing just you know back to basics Oklahoma drills, just right. start hitting people, just to kind of remind yourself uh, it's football, play hard, you know, get after it. And uh, I think you saw at the end of uh, at the end of practice today that there was you know they were really just trying to get people hyped up and into it. You know, right, they had a live period, uh, you know, with. With the the top teams, but then they had a live period with the scout team. Yeah, so they went from on one scout. to two to scout, and it was just trying to get right. people uh, just excited about it. I mean, I, right, almost almost excited about the game of football. You right, know, just exactly. go out, you know, make plays, make hits, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, the, and get everybody on each other line. side. Basically, yeah. have people cheering for, you know, whatever you know unit is yours. Basically, get the ones cheering for the scout team and, and vice versa. Right, you know, just to kind of get everybody back to. You know, back to getting behind it. I mean, I guess you know you, you'll probably never know entirely what's been said since Saturday. But I think that you know that's obviously the interesting question is to find out. Okay, like who was really called out, and uh, you know who was kind of called out on the carpet over the past couple, a few days. But I mean, obviously they're not going to tell you know us that. Right. But you know, it's you know the points from made is just the the intensity level, intensity level wasn't there. The, you know, the very basic. Uh, thing that needs to happen is these guys obviously have to go at it and go at it hard and for you know for at the very least they've done that for each of the first uh, five weeks but just didn't show up in a right. game that they needed to have yeah you know I asked Terrence Turner about the leadership council you know because mm-hmm. that group uh, is obviously sort of you know the, the one that everyone talks about you know everyone right. talks about with this team oh we have a, a lot of leaders there's not just one leader so you know it was really impossible for us a lot of times after a game like that you go to Mm. One player and say, "All right, what happened, man?" And he's yeah, the exactly. spokesman. And mm. but the leadership council is sort of that group, and, and it's really been a leadership by committee. Um, yeah. And he, I asked him, "Okay, you know, you guys meet with Bill each week, and they they did. And okay, what did what was said?" And yeah. know, he said, "There's there's no grand answer. There's no right. Oh, we just that's the way Ben Chappell put it. Right, we had a terrible game, and mm. uh, just have to kind of move past it. Uh, you know, there there were really no." You know, I I asked Bill sort of point blank, do we, what, can you change anything? Do you do anything differently? And he said, no, we got to keep mm. got to keep doing what made us us and what we make thinks. Hey, Chris Howell, yep, what makes makes us, you know, who we can be and who we want to be. Mm. Um, so, and I think we saw that in practice today for other other than those minor <laughs> tweaks. Uh, obviously, started talking about Illinois, the upcoming yeah. opponent, a little bit today. Uh, We've seen a li- very similar position. Well, in a similar position, uh, but obviously mm-hmm. has played really good competition. Has played, right. played Missouri, Ohio State, mm-hmm. uh, Penn State, State Michigan, Michigan State. State. Um, mm-hmm. You know, played some really tough teams. And it was a little eerie talking about Illinois today after the Virginia game because Illinois did that to Indiana last year. I mean, just right. just came out and mm-hmm. smoked. You know, Indiana was just never in the mm-hmm. game. Yeah. Um, so what what are your impressions of, of Illinois, which obviously is going through a little bit of a quarterback controversy, which is surprising to anyone who's watched Drew Williams play for a while. But where are they at? What are, what do you look at? I mean, it's hard to tell so far. It's you know getting haven't had as much on them basically, but uh, it's just a team searching for an identity right now. I mean, I think uh, you know you don't 
they have probably the most talented wide receiver uh, in the Big Ten, and his numbers just aren't there. Right. Basically, they have thirteen had a hard catches time, for really spend so. something like that. Yeah, they've had a hard time getting him the getting him the football. They've hard, had a hard time getting anything they wanted to get started. Uh, and it's it's a weird position to be in where you know you're talking about a guy in Juice Williams who took him to the Rose Bowl for I think it was the first time in you know what twenty something years before they you know before they went. Was um, twenty? Was it? Uh, it might have been close to that. Nineties. Kirk Kittner didn't that go? No, they won the Big Ten, but they didn't go to the Rose Bowl. Oh, my bad. Yeah, that was the year that. Good trivia, though. Indeed. We um, bring everything. What's that? We that, bring everything. That we do. That was the year the Rose Bowl was a national championship game. That's right. Yeah. My bad. So anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, they they just seem like they're they're searching for it. They're not, you know, they're looking all over the place for it. I mean, yeah, obviously they had some good competition, but I mean, they still got beat pretty bad by the Michigan State team this week. That isn't exactly here. Right, it is has one been of the best. And uh, you know, I mean, you, you look at just what uh, the Illinois media is saying, and they're just shredding them a new one right now, saying this this team has no identity, doesn't seem to know what it's doing, and apparently twenty four fourteen was not, you know, it wasn't that close. Are we allowed to say shredding them a new one on the video? Uh, I don't know. No, yeah, I mean, a new one. Uh, hey, pretty graphic. I'm going to go ahead and move on from that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it, it, it does not seem like they're playing well. So, But they're obviously going to come and do it the same way that uh, Indiana is, and, you know, desperate to prove something. Right. Hey, Hugh, do we do we have that news on uh, the football offer today? Sure. It, it, you did find out? Well, I have it from a couple of people. Okay. Uh, it looks like Indiana offered North running back D'Angelo Roberts today. Uh, Roberts leads our area in rushing. He's a, a tough little back. Uh, I saw him play against South. He's just uh, yeah. he just keeps moving, you know. Just yeah, you know, Dustin and I both saw uh, just you know a guy who really uh, spins through holes and um, you know a pretty dynamic player can catch the ball in the backfield. You're gonna need to get a little bit stronger. He's uh, had a lot of wear this year. He's really been um, asked to do a lot for that North offense, which is and that North team's been pretty good this season. Uh, but it appears that that's the first offer I use made to a to a junior player. Um, so they must be trying to get in pretty early. So uh, that'll be an interesting recruitment to watch. Um, otherwise, we'll be back with coverage the rest of the week. Um, more IU uh, football practice tomorrow. Obviously, basketball, Midnight Madness, Friday. Uh, the anticipation is starting to build up around town. Uh, if you look down on the blog, if you're on the Hoosier Scoop down there, uh, Hugh did a really interesting breakdown. He was at a coaching clinic over the weekend, and uh, Tom Crean explained how uh, IU is going to try to attack his own offense, uh, his own defense um, this year. You know, so their zone offense, and really an interesting post uh, and something that might you know be uh, helpful as you as you watch the season go on. Anyway, thanks for joining us. And what's your final parting word, Dustin? Uh, well, you got to move on. Got to move on. See ya.